Hello everyone and welcome to my WRV collections video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but as I said in my WRV duet, my latest WRV duet, I wanted to do one on all my 3DS games, and 3DS is pretty much my favorite video game system ever. It is an awesome system, and I, I'm just going to show my Wii Terror collection. I'm not going to show any of my digital games. But I got these all lined up. I just got a new shelf in here, if you can see this. And I got books and stuff. I'll have to do a video on my books. I did one for just my Christopher Pike videos, but that's all. Not all my books in general. So, starting off, I got the Mario games, and naturally, when I get it, uh, Super Smash Bros. will come first. I'm really looking forward to Super Smash Bros. And it's obviously the 3DS version is superior no matter what you say. So, <laughs> Super Mario 3D Land. I'm not going to get any of these out. I don't think it'll be too difficult. But there's Super Mario 3D Land. I got Mario Kart 7. New Super Mario Bros. 2 should go here. But I got the digital version of that. Uh, so, and I got the digital version of Animal Crossing New Leaf and Pokemon Nets. So they should be all be on here. But they're not. I do think I will get the physical version of them. Just because I like having a physical collection. But slowly, one at a time and all that. I got Mario Kart 7 here, and I played probably over 50 hours online of this. I got Mario Tennis Open, another great online game. I got Mario and Luigi Dream Team, so I go from the main Mario games to the side Mario games to the Mario RPGs. And this has Mario and Luigi, and then I go to Luigi with uh, uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon right here. And then I go from the Luigi series to... The Zelda series for The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, and then Ocarina of Time 3D is kind of like a, uh, a, a remake of, of the 64 game, so I do that to the Star Fox 64, another remake, and then Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D, which is a remake of the Wii game, well, that's more of a port and a remake, a downgrade port actually, but... I, uh, I love the 3D I, I love the 3DS version of Donkey Kong Country more because I mean it's on the 3DS it has 3D I love the 3D function and it's on the 3DS which has sleep mode and the sleep mode makes all the difference in the world when playing video games I really don't like playing video games on any of the home consoles because they don't have sleep mode but the PS4 is supposed to get one soon I don't have a PS4 but hopefully by the time I get one I hope to get one sometime this year. I will have the sleep mode, and I'm wearing my lean on, okay, I, and to go from that, I kind of just, after that, there's really not too much of an order, I got Fortune's Last Reward, which 999 on the DS was one of my favorite games, and this is one of my favorite games, even though it's more like a bug, and as you can see, I got lots and lots of bugs, I've read over, uh, I read pretty much probably by the time this video goes up, 350 bucks. That includes some wee reads though, probably no more than 30 wee reads. So 320 unique books at least. Probably more than that, but yeah. So I got Virtue's Last Reward, then I got Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. So I kind of got the, the, the really different games, but they're still technically RPGs, I guess. Although when, I, when someone says RPG, I, I equate that to leveling up and grinding. And I don't know how much of that is actually in Monster Hunter 3. It doesn't have a level, at the very least. I know you probably grind for weapons, but I've only played like three hours of it. Uh, I, then I got Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor Overclocked. Uh, I really enjoy Devil Survivor Overclocked. I enjoy all of these games, for the most part. But, uh, it's just, I, I suck at it, and I pretty much have to grind my way through, and grinding takes forever and stuff. So next I got the Skylanders series, Skylanders, Spyro's Adventure, and Skylanders Giants. I just got Skylanders Giants, so I have not started it yet, I plan to soon, and I gotta get Skylanders Rock Force. Like I said, I don't really like playing on home consoles too much, because they don't have a sleep mode, and more importantly, I, I don't like playing with, uh, Having to sit in front of a TV, I mean, that's negated by the Wii U and the PS4, but still, no sleep mode. Makes me want to play 3DS and Vita games more, obviously. But, so, uh, I actually got the PS3 version of Spyro was eventual, but I just, I can't get through it, because it's just, oh, you have to go through the loading screen, start it each time, and then it's just, oh, this is the kind of game, I pretty much only play a game like 10 or 15 minutes at a time, probably take a bit of a break, and then play more. 
and that helps with you know sleep mode. If I play on the console, I have to play like 30, 40 minutes to get anywhere really. After that, I got the Shoyu of launch games. I got Pallet Wings Resort, Nintendo Plus Cats, uh, French Bulldog and New Friends, and Steel Diver. And I wouldn't say this is worth forty dollars, but and I got a launch, uh, or a couple of days afterwards. But it's a great game. The sequel is also fantastic. I recommend them both, especially if you can get this for like twenty dollars or less, of which I think you can now. Maybe ten dollars. I'm not sure. Super Street Fighter 4 Ultimate. I, I don't know why I said Ultimate. I don't even know where I got that from. I guess with it kind of rolls off the tongue like Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. But I'm not really into fighting games except for Smash Bros. And obviously PlayStation All-Star since that's, you know, basically Smash Bros. But I wanted to try this. Uh, I pretty much can't play it without without using the touchscreen controls. I do want to try it again to one of these and try to learn the button combinations, but the button combinations are just so... I got Bitrope Saga, which I actually later got as a digital download because it was available on sale one time for $10, which was just awesome deal and use in the 3DS allows you to transfer your saves over, so that's cool. I got Wish Wish 3D. I actually played Probably about 15 hours of this, I guess, because I had nothing else to lay. But it's actually, it's it's pretty good. It's not, it's not, it's about a, a bit above average. It's not that good, but it's good enough. I got Pac Man and Galaga Dimensions. Pretty good collection of games. I got Semi Warriors Corners. I think I played that for like 10 or 15 hours too. I quite enjoyed it. And I got Kush 3D, a great little puzzle game. Uh,. I don't really like puzzle games that much, but I do try them from time to time, and yeah, great little game. So that is my 3DS collection, and yeah. Thanks for watching this video, until next time, wahoo! If you like this video, please subscribe. I make all kinds of videos like Let's Plays, book reviews, comedic YouTube news episodes, and more. Until next time, wahoo!